ABC 17 Storm Track weather alert day is in effect for Saturday. That will begin by noon and continue into the evening as we'll see multiple rounds of severe storm as possible. Uh, all severe hazards are also possible here in mid Missouri. We'll see up to 60 plus mile per hour winds, golf ball sized hail, even an isolated tornado is possible today. Uh, area wide, we're seeing all those impacts and also tracking extreme heat on top of that for Saturday. Uh, we will see our heat index even pushing near triple digits here. This is a quick uh, return of moisture as we've seen uh, really that uh, those dew points have really uh, quickly jumped up here and that's bringing our again our heat index that feels like to near 100 degrees uh, still otherwise we'll be tracking those storms we're clear on satellite and radar early this morning this is just before sunrise uh, but we're tracking a complex of storms to the north of us this is going to push out a boundary of winds here today uh, this main complex will be missing us to the north but that boundary it pushes out is what we'll be tracking here for the afternoon that will even lead to a severe risk area wide we have a two out of five there uh, for the afternoon and evening. That is for all those impacts here. Uh, we will even see that possible damaging wind and hail, even isolated tornado threat area wide. Getting to that latest ABT 17 storm track future track this morning, uh, we will quickly warm to at least the 90 degree mark uh, by mid morning, if not already climbing into the 90s. Uh, before noon today. Uh, we'll already be tracking some possible storms here. This boundary, uh, if that arrives early enough here, could get storms going by just afternoon. Uh, this is about 2 p.m. with that latest timing on this future track. Uh, the timing on that boundary is still a bit uncertain, so this timing could definitely change, but we're expecting the early afternoon uh, through the evening here, 6 p.m. Uh, by dinner time, certainly still take caution heading outdoors. I'll be tracking that fairly isolated chance. It's only a two out of five risk. Uh, that indicates isolated to scattered severe activity. Uh, we will see that continue into tonight as well. Here sundown uh, still just carrying some of those storms with us as this boundary pushes south. Uh, we will face a slightly different setup, actually a cold front with this system uh, following tonight. We'll see a boundary ahead of that actually uh, fueling some of these storms here. This is midnight, uh, the final push of those severe storms possible here. Uh, really it's going to be isolated if we do see that severe activity uh, and that better chance is going to be overnight rather than seeing that this afternoon. Uh, really won't even see that relief from this front pushing in either tomorrow. We're still near 90 degrees for the end of the weekend uh, and really all severe hazards are possible here, uh, especially for the evening and overnight. That's where we'll see uh, better forcing out ahead of this cold front and that will definitely lend to that uh, higher chance for some damaging wind and hail. Uh, those isolated pop-up storms in the afternoon though, those could lead to uh, even significantly large hail if those are able to form. Uh, so we'll certainly keep our eye on those possible afternoon storms as well. Uh, we're not really expecting much relief rainfall wise. It's going to be a very isolated storm chance today. Uh, the lucky ones that do see some heavier storms, uh, hopefully staying non-severe, we will get some relief from that drought with uh, several tenths of an inch of rainfall expected there, but uh, certainly stay aware of those severe storms possible for our weather alert day that begins by noon, carries through midnight Saturday. Uh, the rest of the week, though, we will be following more rain chances, hopefully to relieve us more from that drought.